One, two, oh! Whoa! Oh my God, I thought it was three. What happened? I don't know. What happened? How did Brock Lesnar just win that? That was, quick, that was a quick match. What's up, everybody? It's Grim. We're watching WWE Crown Jewel 2022. I got the Ninja Twins and Attack Slugs hiding over there. And we just watched Brock Lesnar get choked out but win. I don't understand what happened. Where's the replay? Lashley was dominating this match. He was spearing him on the outside. He was putting him through the barricade. Lashley was going to win. Lashley should win. We don't want to see Brock versus Roman again. Okay, so so Brock pushed off, lands on top of Lashley. One, two, three. Oh, Lashley had him in the hold, but Brock was on top of him. It looked like they and now Lashley puts the lock back on him after the bell. Completely uncalled for, but I guess book at him as a heel. Lashley to get his heat back. They definitely have a, have a rematch. Yeah, yeah, okay, so rematch. Rematch, and then Bobby Lashley goes over in a rematch. And then he goes against Roman Reigns. Quality wrestling booking. Long-term storytelling. WWE's been nailing it lately. I think since Triple H took over, the quality has gone up. Not everything's been perfect, no. and it never will be, yeah, never but know, it's been better. We're going to like everything. Never. Oh. Did you see Did you see the Bray Wyatt thing behind Alexa Bliss? Is that what that was? That's what that was. <laughs> I'm doing the, the Leonardo DiCaprio meme when I seen the little butterfly flash up on the screen behind Alexa Bliss that she was talking. Moth. I think it was a moth. Moth. It's not a butterfly? Yeah. It's a moth. It's a moth. Butterfly yeah. in my ass. Dirty butterfly. Butterflies are pretty dirty. Butterfly. Butterfly. There's a huge difference between a moth and a butterfly. There's a moth in my ass. Damaged guitar looking like Smart Beavis and Smart Butthead. <laughs> The white outfits. The girls have to fully cover up. They can't show their butt cheeks like normal. <laughs> People well, are pissed. Arabia, gotta ruin it. At least they're not wearing t-shirts over their skin tight. That's true. Outfits, they right? did that they're once, yeah. That. <laughs> Even the ref has sleeves on. <laughs> the women's tag team title match was fantastic, right? That was a really good match, but very odd booking to me. And we were just putting over Triple H's booking of these shows as being phenomenal. But you have damaged Katara lose the titles on Raw just to win them back here in Saudi Arabia and wrapped up on revealing gear. What is with that? What is the motivation behind it? Can somebody make this make sense? Explain it to me like I'm five. They wanted to do a title change at Crown Jewel. That's the one they can do. And now, so wait, they is... They don't want to do Roman, so... Is Damage Control now two-time tag champs? Yes. And should have been three-time tag champs when they lost them to Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez. I, I don't understand. Either way, bang and match, my only issue with the match. There was that Tower of Doom spot where Alexa took the brunt of it, but Asuka was the one doing it. Why would you hurt your own tag partner? She should have held back and just let Asuka powerbomb the two girls. It would have, I don't know. Whatever. Bang and match, and we got burgers on the way. It's cheat day, burger on the way. When you're skinny, every day is cheat day. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you! You still watch your health, man. It's yeah. important. Yeah. Why the health needs to be watched? I, I hate that. I just want to eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> you haven't, so that's the problem. No, no honestly, I haven't. No, if like, I have, I'd be the size of Boogie 2988. Over your lifespan. <laughs> Logan Paul is here with Jake. What the fuck is Jake wearing? He looks like he's some sort of cult minister. And he's got a title that looks like a rainbow belt. What belt is that? I, sorry, I haven't kept up on the Logan Pauls. See, that's, that's the thing, babe. We need wild-looking weirdo belts like that to, to identify with the younger audience. You know what we need? An up-the-nose championship. I did a live stream, and they didn't want to watch Grim doing Grim things. As soon as my daughter put the phone like this up my nostrils, the viewers started going through the roof. The younger generation, man, I don't get you guys. <laughs> You always want to watch my nostrils? Here you go. The Grim Nostril Show. Ah-ha, you stupid spike face Scarlet. And you goddamn Karen Cross. They'll go complain to the manager about losing, too stupid. Because that's exactly what happened in a cage match against Drew Mac and Cheese. And guess what? Stupid Scarlet tried to pull out the mace. She tried to spray him in the face. Yeah, okay. She did. she did pull out the mace, and she did try to cost Drew Mac and Cheese the match with the goddamn solid steel mace. And what did Drew say? Drew Mac and Cheese, here's ya. Drew Mac and Cheese don't care. He completely no sells the mace, and he stops Karen Cross from winning the match. His eyes look fine. 
Because well, cause it's maze. wrestling maze. Oh. Yeah, it's not real maze where, you know, your eyes are going to be wet and watering for the next <laughs> hour. Drew McIntyre, he survives. He gets over the top before Karen Cross can get out of the cage. And imagine it started off slow and plodding. <laughs> they even announced it. Well, who said it, right? Corey Graves. A slow and plodding match. Was it Graves or Barrett? I think it was Barrett. Oh, Barrett. Barrett a slow and plodding match. <laughs> but sometimes when you have two big sweaty men slapping meat, it's not going to be the cruiserweight run around. I hate when matches are just a bunch of running around. If I'm in a real fight, I'm not going to be running around doing car wheels. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. It might be slow and plodding. Anyway. It started off slow, it built to a big finish, and again, another fucking banger. This show has been great so far. Let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of this show? Especially at this point. Roman's here, time to acknowledge your tribal chief. Solo Sokoa opens the door, acknowledging Roman comes out and is asked by Byron, who's that, Byron Saxos? <laughs> what about Logan Paul gets a lucky punch? And he just brushes that shit away. Paul Heyman says, he's not gonna get a lucky punch, you fuck. It's not going to happen. Who do you guys got? Roman, right? Roman, Roman right? Roman, right? You can see. We're going to pick Roman. We are going to acknowledge our tribal chief, and he's going to win. He's going to mush Logan Paul, even though it might look like Logan might win. They're going to have a good match. Yeah. yeah. Put on a good match. Yeah. Logan ain't winning. No. There's no way. No chance. I'll shit myself. I will shit myself live on YouTube. Drop these magical mashed potatoes on your head. Can you drop them down my throat? It's all Rhea's fault. I'm pointing it out again. That was all Rhea's fault. She's got long hair all of a sudden. She thinks she's some sort of bad bitch. Well, kind of she's always felt that. And she got her, her, her good-looking, squeezable hiney involved in this match. And the OC had no woman out there to protect them against Rhea ripping off this match. That squeezable hiney looks good in purple. And I like that she's got those long-ass dreads going now. All right, all right, enough about Rhea Ripley and her supple booty. We need to discuss. There's never enough. Never enough. <laughs> There's never enough. All right, we're going to make a whole separate episode about Rhea Ripley and her supple booty. There... But. Exactly. Finn Balor wins with a pin over AJ Styles thanks to Rhea Ripley. She was the difference maker in this match, the TDM, so to speak. The difference maker, in case you're ever wondering what that st stands for. Oh, I got the TDM. I, got I have a wrestler in DF with us, Yankee TDM. Yankee, the difference maker. Everybody's like, what the fuck's TDM stand for? <laughs> now you know. That match was awesome. A six man tag, Dominic getting in there, kicking some ass. Damian Priest in there, slapping the piss out of people, and the OC just couldn't handle it. I almost feel like they brought back Carl Underpants and Festus to get their asses beat, courtesy of Judgment Dorks. Right or wrong? Has to eat the pen. Right? And it's not AJ. Right. <laughs> so. Right. This show has been rolling along, and so far it's been really goddamn good. Yes. Yeah. Right? Solid. Solid. And guess what? They're awake. It's the middle of the afternoon. Good afternoon. It's every a hype day. show. Every pay per view should be like this. Yeah. Oh, every uh, premium event. Premium. Every premium live premium. event should be in the middle of the afternoon for the old fuckers like these two. Yeah. And the other thing, everybody freaking out about Bullet Club getting mentioned by Michael Cole like six times. Like, okay, yes. That's the kind of stuff that McMahon would not allow. I also heard that McMahon would not allow white wrestling gear or he didn't like it anyway. And they were only allowed to wear it on special occasions like WrestleMania. Duh. Vince McMahon let how many of these wrestlers wrestle in street clothes? Omos, Dean Ambrose, Baron Corbin, John Cena even. In fucking Walmart outfits. Now they all got gear. Omos got gear. Corbin got gear. I like the Triple H era. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yo, that was awesome. Braun the Train Strowman just ran right through. Almost, almost, almost didn't have it at all. He got his ass body slammed. Although, I thought that Braun was going to drop him. Braun he power slammed. Oh, he power slammed almost. almost. Fuck, guy's eight feet tall and 900 pounds. And, but, but, but Braun got his ass beat a little bit in that match. I thought this was like almost finally wrestling in wrestling gear. Looking like a fucking contender. Being a nine-foot challenger for Roman yeah, Reigns. Oh, like, yeah, why not? Almost lost him, almost lost him right? Wow. But didn't lose him, because that's how strong he is. You got a deadlift, because, you know, almost is not used to being picked up. No, no. Let me tell you, I'm not used to being picked up. When guys pick me up, I throw them off, because I don't know. I'm not used to this. Get off me. Get off me, right. That, that was a big match. 
a big man guy, and it wasn't slow in plotting. No. Well, they actually well. whooped some ass. It kept it kind of short. It had a good yeah, pace. Yeah. Had it a little bit short. But it shouldn't be long. I don't want to watch these guys fight for 25 minutes. No, rest hole. Rest hole. Rest hole, rest hole. Right, that's what happens. No, they just had a banger. And Braun wins, which was cool. Uh, Yoko is doing a trapezius. Oh, yeah, Yoko would always sit there with the... The 25-minute matches just holding the neck. <laughs> so boring! Well, we love you, Yoko. <laughs> no, Yoko was awesome, but he just needed a break. Yes. yes. When you're that big, you gotta take a break mid-match. The guy's the main event. They're like, listen, you can't go out there and have three-minute matches. Mm -hmm. I think they should do just do it. Like, who cares? That's what would happen in real life. Fat guy squash little man. Three minutes. That's all you need. <laughs> Guys, we're really enjoying this show. And what do we stop? Three more Three matches. More matches. Three more matches. Yeah. Usos defending the tag titles still to come. If Logan Paul wins a championship, I just no. put it on Twitter. No. I'll, I'm, and everybody who retweets my tweet is getting 20 bucks. Not everybody who gets it, one person. But one person out of the people who retweet it. I'll send $20. To <laughs> That's my bet. So therefore, it won't happen. So I don't have to send anybody money. Can you imagine if it happens? Uh, do you think Logan Paul's going to do it? No. no, it can't happen. I think it might happen. It's not anything happen. can happen. WWE. That's under McMahon. Triple H hasn't given us anything yet. What's the Triple H slogan? Well, you know, uh, best for business. we do what's best for business. Uh. <laughs> Fear the headlines. Dude, he's right, though. That's why I think Logan might have the chance. Think of the headlines. You know, uh, 1D to Butch. When Jay's got his shit wrapped around his legs. <laughs> oh my, he, and Jay, not, not feeling very oozy, having his shirt still tied, wrapped around his legs as it was peeling off of his body. Like I don't know. Not only did I not know how he wrestled with his legs stapled together, but how did he pull off a 1D off the second rope? That was awesome. That match was hot. That was yeah, really good. Best match of the night. Best match. Yep. Best you, match. you heard it here from yeah. Todd. Right, you're Todd? Yeah. You heard it here. Match of the night, right we there. We got turkey with a turkey. The DF Fit, the DF Fit turkey. Yeah. We're gonna eat it, yeah. <laughs> and we just witnessed one of the best matches in the history of tag team wrestling. There, I said it. There were some spots where I thought I thought the Brawling Brutes were gonna win that. Me too. They had, and we said no. Why would the the new day? I mean, why would the Usos have this run? Just to lose to the Brawling Brutes on Crown Jewel. It's not going to happen. They're not time for them to lose the titles. Just like it's not time for Roman to lose tonight. But they were chanting at Jay, you're not Usy. <laughs> you're not Usy. You're not Usy. Are you feeling Usy? I'm always Usy. Are you feeling Usy? He's never Usy. <laughs> never, never. I'm feeling Usy, and we're having a good-ass time watching the Crown Jewel. So that means now... At Solid Steel Series, undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match. Oh no, this Friday on Friday. Fox. Yeah, they got to get the match in before they they break, break the, the record. Yeah. Oh my they, God. They only got eight so, more days. So if New they... Day wins on SmackDown, they they still are the record holders. Yes, exactly. Whoa, that's huge. That is a, that's that's a big huge, match. guys. That's yeah, big. Yeah, that I'm is. fucking hyped now for SmackDown. That's a big yeah. SmackDown match. God damn it. And you know the New Day and the Usos always have banger matches. Hey, God damn right. Hey. That's going to be like the 375th match that they've had. How's Big E feel? And it'll be the best. How's Big E feel? Broken neck? I don't know. Is he good enough to do a run-in? How about... Help his bros? How about the... Uh, he can roller skate. Fine. He can do a run-in? Big E does a run-in and helps the New Day win. Keep his record safe? I guess. I, I want to see Usos break the record. I want the Usos to break. Me it. too, and and I, I'm 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 hitting there trying to put Cody over. I'm all on demolition myself. <laughs> Fuck well, you. That's the thing. Listen, Road Warriors from Wish. Let the Usos get get payback for demolition. Guys, hype show. Let us know what you think of the show in the comments below. And I'm feeling Usy. I'm ready for Roman, but we still have the last woman standing first. How? <laughs> Bailey. Versus Bianca in a last woman standing match, and they just raised a golf cart down the ramp to a table and tried to throw Bailey off the top to the table, but she bounced off the table and it didn't break. And now she's gonna get power bombed through it, and it finally breaks. I am the table's been broke. You can see it, obvious. Oh, and and Wade Barrett even said it in the broadcast: when the table doesn't break, it hurts worse than if it did. Ow, that's double the punishment. Bailey threw a table on a seven, eight, nine, but Bailey's to her feet and the match continues. I'm on the edge of my seat. 
And Bianca Belair wins by stuffing Bailey's big booty between the legs of a ladder under the turnbuckle. She couldn't get out. That was the coolest finish. finish. Like, that was the coolest, fun. most creative finish to a last person standing, whether man or woman. Since the duct tape with John Cena. Really, John? Really? Duct tape? Duct tape, really? <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible match. This, this, oh my God, what is her move called? Where she caught the chair. The, the what? The KOD. Okay, so Bianca, it's a KOD. And the top of the chair where your back goes, <laughs> right up to camel toe with Bailey. <laughs> the solid steel chair to the cooter hole. Bah, God almighty. And, and that set up for the end. That was a really good match. And it wasn't terribly long either. No, it was good. Which is good. A lot of times, the last people standing matches are 30, 40 minutes. The botch says table spot, but yeah. still. Yeah, the, okay, so uh, listen, the botch table spot really worked out in the end because it looked way brutaler. Yes. Yes. Way brutaler. Is brutaler a word? I don't uh, even know. Uh, more brutal. It is now. It is now. It's brutaler. Is Bray Wyatt just told this whole thing about how he's Bray Wyatt about 37 times. And now, what? Howdy duties on the screen? Mm -hmm. Who's this asshole? His brother? Here it comes. We're watching this trailer for Uncle Howdy Doody. Come on, just show us who the fuck it is. We're watching this live. What's this? I feel like I'm in a fever dream. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? This is a lot to handle. <laughs> Say something! Give us some information! How long is this? Here it is. Do something. What? And then it goes away? Yep. Oh, come on. The mystery deepens. Yep. God damn it. I want to know what's going on with Bray Wyatt. It's been a month. It's been a month. Tell me something. Nothing. Anything. That was it. Nothing. Motherfuckers. Paul's making his way to the ring. All right. We're getting back to the action here on the free preview. This Wait, this is really happening now? This isn't a promo? Yeah. No, he's got some bad news for you on that giant this is This is real. Oh, my God. He's, he's being lowered. He's higher than Grim. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Logan Paul with the coolest entrance in the history of our sport. Fuck, he's going to win. They don't... Listen, they don't... Win. Why are you saying he's going to win, though? We were just filming an unboxing real quick for the newest figures from WrestlingFigures.com. Discount code Grim saves 10% on the newest figures. Is that Mantar? Logan Paul just got lowered in, and it's if not only, Mantar, motherfucker. If only it could be Mantar. It's not Mantar, it's Malachi Black. Logan Paul's having a cool entrance. Would you shut up? This is my moment. This is the exciting times. Roman Reigns is going to be making his entrance to make this little shit from YouTube acknowledge him. I'd pop for Mantar. This is great. All right, well, let's see. We got to turn it up. We got to focus. Here we go. Babe! It's Logan Paul versus Roman time! They're gross! You like them? I didn't like them. They're fine. They're so it sickening. tastes like pumpkin pie, but it's I popcorn. Would, I wouldn't buy them, but they're fine. All yeah. right, listen, everybody needs to start acknowledging the tribal chief is coming to the ring, and we are ready to watch it much Logan Paul. Now listen, I like Logan Paul. I really do. And I think he's been doing great, and I'm hyped for this match. But Roman needs to win, okay? When are they just going to combine it into one gold belt? I think the match starts with a Logan Paul punch. Right? Logan yeah. Paul punch. Starts with a punch, falls well, near, near a three count. Just to be like, oh my god, he almost did it. He almost did he it. He almost did it. I don't know. I don't plan. Hey! Step, 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 step. What? You're filming? Yeah, me fine. marking out for Roman Reigns? Yes. I'm not do. putting this in the video. <laughs> Put on TikTok. 
<laughs> Don't film me. <laughs> He's calling me out. He He's calling me out. Roman's calling me out. He's mushing Logan Paul right now saying, ain't no more YouTubers coming out here. I'm done with this garbage. He's going to put an end to Logan Paul, and he doesn't want no more challenges from YouTubers because he knows he's going to have to recognize me. The tribal chief versus the tribal chef, come on. He's going to have to recognize me. He's going to have to recognize these nuts. God damn it. That's it. I'm taking the merch off. I'm done with this. Oh, no, oh, no, no. no. Oh, God. Oh. Wrong platform. He called me out. He called me out. I mean, what's happening? Why did Logan Paul just hit a Superman punch on Roman Reigns? And now Logan Paul's going to the top? What the fuck yeah, is going he's on? Getting speared. He's getting speared, he's getting out, speared out, the out the air. He's getting speared out the air, right? Oh, no! Yeah. He hits a crossbody off the top! Standing moonsault! One, two, oh! Whoa! Oh my god, I thought it was three. Oh my god! Holy fuck! What are they doing to me? Ah! Are we all right? I'm all right. Okay. Give me the Iggy. You good? Give me the Iggy. The what? The Iggy, you asshole. Check on my, me. My Iggy. What? I hate you. <laughs> Wait, Logan Paul. Three, ho, ho. He got the lucky, the lucky bitch slap. He got a Superman punch, and then he almost had another three That's count. It. If he was going to win, it would have been right there. Right? I feel like that was the comeback. That was, it. that was the hope spot. That was the last-ditch effort. That was throwing the kitchen sink at him, and it still don't work. I, here's the thing. He's had three matches. What's his finishing move? Nobody knows. He's had three matches. Listen, to his credit, you wouldn't know, man. Logan Paul's out there kicking ass. He's performing top-notch main event quality in his third fucking match ever. That's giving him credit. This has been a good-ass match. Roman Reigns better fucking win. Wow, Logan Paul just took a fan cell phone, probably a plant, took the cell phone, went up, live streams, going to the top and doing a frog splash off the top through the fucking commentary table. This motherfucker goes... He just did the subscriber splash. What else would you call it? What else would you call it? <laughs> I'd call it something else. Not my move. Okay? Not my move. There's the This bitch over here. Wow. This is incredible. This is... I, I'm sorry, dude, but nobody generates this kind of hype and excitement. Oh, wait. Well, oh, the plants are now all of a sudden getting jumped by the fucking Usos. Out of the, uh, the limo. Oh, oh, they came out the limo? Yeah. So they're Logan Paul's guys. All right. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. What the fuck? Now they're in the ring. Uso, I guess he doesn't have a broken wrist. I guess that was not really a thing because he seems fine. Twitter was saying he had a broken wrist. Jake Paul! Why does Jake get his own theme and entrance? What has Jake Paul ever done in what? WWE? Well, nothing, but he's clearly making his debut. Oh, my God, they're going to have the Pauls versus the Usos? They're gonna have the Pauls versus Usos. Right, they're gonna have the Pauls versus yeah. Usos. Holy shit, this is good, bro. This is good. I like this. This is fucking awesome. I am hype on my edge of my seat right now. <laughs> the bloodline and Jake. Standing 10 count, anybody? Hello? In a minute and a half? There's no, like, double count out? Nothing? Yeah, no, no, there's been no double count out. You remember they have, like, those lax rules? The referee's discretion. Yes, yes. Referee's like, no, we're not going to end this. We're just going to let it go until I feel like it needs to end. What the fuck? Jake Paul's just doing the whole Roman Reigns shtick. Yo, imagine he turns heel on his brother. Oh, my God. They're getting Roman Reigns in the ring. Logan Paul. Jake Paul. The bloodline's just been handled. They just got their asses handled. <laughs> Frog splash. Yo! Hits it. One. Two, no, Roman kicks out. Roman kicks out. Yeah, if ever he was, Logan was going to win, it would have been right there. <laughs> well, I know we said that already. Yeah, but. But it definitely would have been right there. Woo. Woo. I can't breathe. Wait, now who? Solo. Solo, Solo Sokoa. Where's this motherfucker coming out? What the hell's going on here? It's a family reunion match here in the main event of Crown Jewel. I'm confused. Is this a heavyweight title match or the fucking Royal Rumble? Yeah. <laughs> Every two minutes, somebody else comes out. One, two, three. 
and the, the Superman punch and the spear puts Logan away after all the horse shittery and tomfoolery and butt fun. Sports entertainment. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was starting to feel like it was literally every two minutes somebody new was coming out. <laughs> and here comes the next entry. These run-ins are getting full entrances and yeah. shit. <laughs> Wild. What a show. What sports entertainment? That was banging. I enjoyed the hell out of it, guys. And it's only three thirty in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, God. win. We We're gonna film perplexing pickles. He's got some video games. Yes. He's got video games for us. So guys, make sure you check out his channel. What'd you guys think of Crown Jewel? Let me know in the comments below. I give this show a billion stars up. I don't. What's a billion stars up? That makes no sense. I liked it. Okay, the Grimster Stars gives it. Are always up, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck up, okay? Listen, <laughs> the Eagles' assery is really happening right now. If you could tell from the beginning of the video to the end of the video, anyway. Uh, the guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, share with your friends, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah.